Welcome back, fellow eccentrics. I am the Neural, and this is the Blockcentric server. Today, we're gonna keep on going steampunkifying this place because it is still not exactly steampunky. Yeah, we've got the Victorian themed roofs going, uh, some of them peaked, some of them a little bit rounded off, uh, but essentially, we need more steampunky things. So, what I wanna do is actually, well, steampunk uh, implies a lot of industrial themed related things. So what I thought would help uh, was to actually <clears throat> get a few more piers like this going. So one here, one there, maybe a couple more here and there. Whoops, uh, 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 you saw nothing. Thank you. Um, a couple more around here. Uh, and adding some cranes to the to the thing. <clears throat> so I want to put in a, a couple of small cranes uh, to uh, offload. It. Come here, come here, get over here. Thank you. Did I? Yes. Uh, you die now. A couple of, of cranes around here, uh, just to help out, uh, give it a sense of activity and a little bit more of an industrial thing going. Uh, another thing that I wanted to, to do is actually uh, redo this windmill and take out the logs. Just leave the... the... stuffs. Yeah, the, the stuffs. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, just... Uh, uh. Just leave in, just leave in the uh, fence posts, because uh, I, I think that that should work better. If you saw the episode where where I built the thing, uh, you'll remember that I actually had actually never built something a windmill uh, such as this one. Uh, so let me try it out. Add a couple of cranes, maybe uh, try out a couple of different designs and come back to you to show you the progress. Wow, that was a lot of dirt there. Ugh. Ugh. And we're back. And it's night time. And Dro's online. And he's not sleeping. But in the meantime, I did this thing. This has taken quite a few hours. Now, let's go over a bit of this. Uh, this helps. This actually does help. It, it's starting to feel like a dock, actually. So, I went with a couple of crane designs, but admittedly, I am not very creative. And this is what I've come up with so far. So, we've got this little thingy here with the... Oh, I should ha I should add some lighting there. That needs lighting, and I am getting lag spikes. Oh, Minecraft. Uh, eh, there you go. Give me those. Thank you. Uh, uh, eh, there you go. Mucho better. There. So this is what I came up with. Uh, not not a huge huge thing. Not, not very good. Uh, but I think it it, it, it uh, sorry Skype. Oh, do I have trapdoors? I do have trapdoors. Uh, can I? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Crap. Uh, I do have trapdoors, and I can reach that. Come on, gimme, gimme, gimme. Ah, yeah. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Ah, ah, there you go. Um, it, it, it does, it works, it works. I think people will look at it and say, that must be a crane. Good God, this scared, you scared the crap out of me, dude. You. I gotta be careful, because there could be creeper. <laughs> if I didn't play this game so much. Come on, you little bastard. Where are, ah, here you are. Okay. Now that we've dealt with that, I built two cranes and boats. Uh, so I built that crane and I built this crane. This crane is a little bit larger than the other crane. I just like saying crane, so I'm going to say it lots of times. And I, I think it works. Uh, I think it works with this little boat. Uh, 
I think it works all right. So I put this little boat here, not entirely docked, so to give some motion to the scene. Uh, and I'm not very happy with this thing. Not too sure I could lower it down because I do want <coughs> I do want uh, to start. Hmm, is this? Yeah. Eh. This isn't very. Mm, this isn't exactly what I want. So let's try to uh, make this feel like there. Make it feel like there's actual merchandise going around here, or the there are actual goods being uh, sorted, negotiated things. Skype, please stop. Thank you. Thank you. Please. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. So le let's do this like this and uh, you like that are you gonna le let me place the last one yes you are awesome because I brought these little buggers with me and what we can do all oh, right this texture pack it doesn't have the faces uh, awesome so what we can do is actually go around like uh, this All right. Yeah, now we're talking. Looks like there there's melons and pumpkins being used, stored, moved thing. I think I'm going to do the same with that one. Uh, yeah. So we've got a couple of cranes. I'm not sure what what the deal is how I'm going to I need to look up more crane designs cuz this frankly just it just kind of looks like a, a big mess to me. Uh, I tried to go with that uh, three, uh, that tripod design thing. So two, two feet here and one in the back, and then just the the arm. But meh, meh, eh, but all in all, I think it's working out. Uh, so what I want to do now is actually go around. I cannot sprint. I must sprint. I must have my sprints. Uh, I want to go around and, uh, uh, oh, dear lord, I only got seven for, what a ripoff, oh, no way, I thought you, you got the thing, uh, mm, hmm. well, what, what, what seems like I'm going to have to do is actual uh, is actually go around and uh, raising this floor up by one and then possibly raise that and start placing merchandise around here so and like that and that and that so there's pumpkins here and there are melons there I am going I am so terribly sorry I am going to turn off Skype now uh, but yeah, essentially just going around doing, let's play like this, this, and this. Uh, doing it like this, and uh, hey, you get to drill the, that thing, just cut the, the goods while the ship was still docking. So that's pro moves there, buddy, pro moves. Uh, and I think what we're gonna do next is actually, uh, yeah, go around, add chests and pumpkins and melons and I'm gonna try to get some hay bales too uh, and afterwards we'll see where we're going but I think I'm, I want to get started with the central island there so I'm gonna get on with that and I'll be right back I hear you you little freak oh it's a chicken doggy hey ow 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 Hi! Okay, I'm out of here. I don't want to kill you, though. I think you'd look great in the fountain here, but you'll you'll just climb out. I wonder. Can I just... Ah, uh, but I don't have a name tag. Screw it. You're dead. You too. Okay. What was I saying? Ah yes. Uh so I went uh, I went around and placed a few bits and bobs here and there uh, and I think it it 
looks much better now. Actually, yeah, much better. Um, a bit of life, a bit of uh, color too. Although this is this section here is purposefully monochromatically colorless. Uh, and ew, ew, ew! I've got ew spoiled meat. Uh, but now that we've got that going, and uh, that is turning out just the way I like it. Uh, a jumbled mess of so much stuff. <laughs> but, okay. Now, what we want to do is actually b start building this up. Ooh, I'm gonna take advantage of these little guys. I don't... Uh, I don't have the, the inventory space. Uh, okay, okay. So, Ranky, we'd already seen this. Uh, Ranky went ahead and uh, made a few... Uh, already started with the wall, so we are going to continue it up to that height so that we can uh, be level or uh, uh, even a bit higher uh, with other big ships. Now, those are tiny, teensy, tiny little boats. You can hardly understand what's going on. Ah, oh, God, I love it. Uh, if we manage to do th what we did there, like, all around this place like this and it's it's actually not that huge uh, an enterprise if we manage to do that uh, i think i think we might be onto something here uh, but for now i just have to start building this up so i'll come back as soon as i've gotten some height and uh, as soon as i'm ready to start laying out Possibly the beginnings of the tower that is going to set uh, on top of this. So we're, it's going to have cranes. Uh, I, I like cranes. <laughs> they actually work pretty well. I, I wish I, I was a little bit more creative uh, and uh, could actually manage uh, a, a few more interesting designs. Not that my designs are bad. I'm not saying that, but... <laughs> Well, we can all agree that I am a derp. Uh, we can all agree that uh, eh, they could be better. They could be better. All right, all right. I'm going to stop talking, and uh, I'll meet you back in a bit. Okay, so this is now built up, and a uh, couple of things. First of all, I don't have cobble. This is all my cobble, and this isn't even mine. I stole it from Ranquest. Uh, so that is gonna be uh, sort of a problem. Uh, I am go going to mooch off some of the server members to, to see. Maybe, possibly, Angry Canine could, could have some. He probably does. Uh, but le let's just uh, figure this out. I want a, a style of border uh, that uh, string from the Ewing string channel is using on his docks and it looks really good I'm still wondering how I'm gonna do the sides here but essentially it is going to be something along the lines of this and then just rinse and repeat all the way across uh, not a whole lot to say about that uh, but eventually, it does provide... Mm, here, let me see. Do I have... Yeah. Ah, crap. Seriously, this bug has already cost me so much stone. Uh, having this all around... I'm still not sure if I should keep it at this level, but like this, it doesn't really allow... Uh, it doesn't really give a, a very good field of view while with this level. Of course, you can jump on top of it, but uh, it serves both purposes, aesthetic and practical, for view for our viewing pleasure. Uh, so I have to get on with that, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that today, and since I'm not sure how long the video's been running either, uh, let's just figure out how the tower's going to go. Now, we do want some space uh, along the borders here to keep uh, merchandise flowing, and um, essentially the... 
the cranes. The cranes are gonna be uh, kind of a pain because they they have the the counterweight there, which means that wherever they go, they have the lance. I believe is what it's called. At least in Portuguese, it's a lance. It's called a lance. And then the counterweight part. So they should come over around a few blocks at least, depending on where we place them. So let's say we we. Uh, they can go up to here. So if we have our square, uh, let's make a square first. Square tower from here all the way. How how big was that? So that one, two, three, four, five, six. Six free spaces. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six free spaces. And then the thing. We're going to end up with a square that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, so now all we have to do is count. Hmm. Is that perfect? I'm not sure. I'm, I think I want it a bit bigger because I am going to uh, build the tower in a... Uh, in a gothic, uh, a gothic fashion, not not following the gothic principles, but but one gothic um, element that is commonly used in uh, lots of big cathedrals is uh, staggering the the tower up, changing its shape. So it uh, starts with a square, then it becomes like a hexagon. Uh, or an octagon, then uh, and then a circle, or something along those lines. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven free spaces. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna outline this, see for how long we've been running, and check back with you. And it would appear we have just run out of time. Oh, woe, woe unto thee who hast runneth out of timeth. Yeah, so this is the dimension of the squarish tower. Now, I think this square tower uh, could be a little bit of a mix between the steampunk elements and the fantasy elements that are going to be on top and surrounding the steampunk town. Uh, so I am going to go ahead and actually plan out its height using these blocks and then we'll kind of mix together the the gray uh, stone bricks and... Hmm, is this... 96, it is. Perfect. The grey stone bricks and then other elements. Um, now, the reason why why I... Wh how did I decide on this height? This is actually important. Uh, uh, I have also um, gone ahead and used the technique uh, used uh, uh, around the, the 15th century with, with the, the advent of Gothic, which, fun fact, has nothing to do with the Gothic pe people the gothic folk, uh, and um, I went ahead and, and ju just um, used the, uh, the golden ratio from the side of the, um, of the square to its height, so multiplied the side of the square by 1.618, and that will give us its height. Now this wasn't necessarily used in cathedral building, where the cathedrals were actually uh, built uh, squarish. You can actually look head on at uh, the cathedral of Chartres, for for instance, and uh, it it is actually all squares inside other squares, but the, they're always squares. Is this 96? It is. Perfect. Uh, okay, so I have got to go ahead and, and uh, first of all have some rest. But then start mooching off the other members of the server for some stone and um, yeah, go ahead and try to get this build going. So that is going to be it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed the episode or a dislike if you didn't. And then, until next time, as always, I have been the Neural. And I hope you have an awesome day.